Hello Pisces, this is your weekly reading for February. So let's see what the cards are for you guys, Pisces. So the main card for you, the main lesson, it's this Ace of Cups, going with the flow. The inner energy here, your energy is three of pentacles. It's called guidance, the guidance. The outer energy, <clears throat> intensity. This one is the knight of staff. What you need to do. We have the master card. This one is the extra card. <laughs> uh, this card is not on other tarot decks. It's just only on this Osho's and Tarot. It's an extra card, the Master. Um, and the last one, Trust, another Knight. We have two Knights here. This one is the Knight of Cups and it's called Trust. So, so for you guys, the main lesson here, it's going with the flow. And um, this is about letting yourself, you know, flowing wherever the currents or, of life are taking you. Wherever they lead you, you need to surrender and be passive and receptive, but not in the, the sense of uh, procrastinating or um, you know sleepy not not in a negative way not being passive in a negative way more like you know receptive and open way and allowing way where you're just open to the you know the currents where the currents are taking you without um, resisting because, you know, like every moment it's offering you the option to either you know, go with the, with the flow, go with the currents and flow with it or trying to swim against the currents and <laughs> see where that takes you. It, it won't take you far. You can't fight life. Um, so it's now the time for you to stop fighting against the current. It is now time for you to just float and trust that the life is taking you where you will need to be. And now if you relax and just uh, not oppose it, it will take you where you need to be <clears throat> effortlessly. <coughs> Sorry. So you need to open up. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. So you need to open up more and more to this feeling of trust and relaxation because everything is as it should be. And this card also, it have has kind of the same energy. This ace of cups and this pay this uh, knight of cups and it's called trust um, it's about letting go it's about not opposing and learn how to trust what life is teaching you and is bringing to you <coughs> sorry so this card, the trust card, is saying that um, now has come the time to go bungee jumping without the rope. So this card is asking you for complete faith, complete trust, 100%. Um, <clears throat> 
with no holding back, with no hidden secrets. Uh, so you need to make this jump into the unknown, even if the idea scares you terribly. Because eventually, you will feel a joy that you've never felt before. And this like complete trust leads you to the big, you know, quantic jump that doesn't have to do anything with elaborate plans or preparing anything. So now is not the time to sit and think and plan. So it's just time to just jump without a care of what is going to happen. Um, so in this free fall that you're taking without knowing what is happening or will happen to you, um, the card is kind of showing you some indication of what is waiting. You see like the pink here? This it's soft, is welcoming. Yes. See, you're falling from into this blue, like it's the mind energy, the mental, into this pink, fluffy, soft, like heart energy. Uh, welcoming energy. So <clears throat> it is a good thing. Life will bring you exactly what you need. Um... Your energy, the guidance. It shows that uh, you are in tune with your inner guidance. You are kind of paying attention to the signs that you're getting from the universe. Because see, like this card is like this angel here. Holding your hands. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so this angel here. It symbolizes the inner. You know inner guidance. That we all have. So. <clears throat> um, sometimes we. You know we mistrust. Our inner voice. Because you're you're used to getting uh, clues from the outside rather than from the inside. So now you're it's like the truth of your inner being is trying to guide you, showing you where to go. So you can now you can trust your inner voice and in your intuition. Um so if you will feel, if you will um, follow your inner guidance, you will feel more complete. Um, it will take you exactly where you need to be. So kind of giving me the feeling that you're being guided, you're in tune to this guidance with your inner guidance, but also outer guidance. I feel like there are also signs from the universe you're getting. Um, so inner and outer, it's combined. It's kind of even the same. <laughs> um, so you're in tune. And... Whatever is happening to you from the outside, see this intensity, this night of pentacles, uh, of stuff. This is intense energy. This is something heavy happening um, for you, coming from your environment. Um, So this is like it looks like an arrow that is being pointed. <laughs> it's being pointed towards you. See, this is your inner energy. This is from what is from outside. And it's coming at you, towards you. Um 
So I don't know if it's necessarily a person or just some circumstances or whatever events, but it's just happening very, very fast and very strong. Um, so it's kind of um, this intensity right now. It's playing this role of a teacher somehow is teaching you how to go with the flow and surrender. <clears throat> and what you need to do, this car, the master, um, this is like your the master <clears throat> it's not an inner master it's y you being your own master um yeah like you you're discovering this new dimensions of your beings like your your inner master somehow it's coming out your your truth um, so it it's the truth it's the the truth inside of you that is coming out the truth of who you are uh enlightenment <laughs> uh or levels you know of enlightenment um so this is whatever you're going through, and it's quite intense. It's teaching you to surrender, to trust, to have faith in the universe, and it's bringing out your truth, your inner light, your inner wisdom. And You know, some like your consciousness is being awakened and becomes like bright. Um, and it says here very nicely, like it's so bright, like a torch, like a flame, and it transforms into ash everything that the mind has created so this is like being reborn out of your you know former selves like somehow leaving be behind the old you and discovering your truth discovering a new dimension of yourself and finding out who you truly are and learning how to surrender to life and to this process um, and I think it's also realizing that it's inner and outer. It's kind of the same. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> this is what I can see from this spread here. If you guys resonated with this, I hope it helped. And if you didn't resonate, it's okay. Maybe this wasn't for you. Maybe in my next reading, I may have a message for you there. Remember to always trust your intuition first and only take what resonates from the readings. So, thank you guys for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.